Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Julia Thatcher. Voting is happening across the state for the general election. Polls in Sedgwick County open this morning at 6, and they close everywhere in Kansas at 7 tonight. We have team coverage this afternoon. KSN's Craig Andrus, Zena Taher, and Asia Simone Smith are at polls in Sedgwick, Butler, and Harvey Counties. And Derek Lytle looks into issues on the ballot. But first, we begin with a live press conference with the Sedgwick County Election Commissioner, Laura Rainwater, talking about how voting is going so far. Take a listen. Across, um, you know, there'll be a big push from four to six, the dinner rush on their way home from work. So I'm thinking we'll, we'll approach the 25% turnout. Have you had any issues with um, any polling locations today so far? No. Um, it's been running really smoothly. I mean, yeah, typical ballot jams, you know, but I mean, nothing that we haven't been able to address, you know, right there on site. So it's been run running really smooth. And no rumors of electioneering or anything like that? No, no complaints there at all. How long do you think it will be take to count results tonight? The primary, we got them done really quickly. Um, we'll have our first results from the advanced mail ballots and early voting, hopefully posted by 715. That'll be the initial results you'll receive. And then I hope to be done by 8.30, 9 o'clock at the latest. And what was that number one more time? For run which? Number so far. Run through the numbers again. Okay, election day turnout. As of 3.30 this afternoon was 30,645. We have had 16,167 mail ballots returned. And that brings us to a total turnout of 18.8%. So. How's your um, poll workers doing, staffing wise? I today? think they're doing okay. We were fully covered. Um, we had to shuffle some around. We had about eight poll workers call in yesterday with COVID. So we had to do some shuffling around, but we were fully staffed, and that, that didn't end up hurting us at all. And I know it's your first actual election day as commissioner. How are you feeling on this election day as full commissioner this time? I'm tired. <laughs> Going on a drill among you. I've been up since 2.15. Um, you know, there's some efficiencies we can improve upon, certainly. Um, we are all learning. My staff and I are learning. Um, it's our, you know, we've got a young staff. And so I think this has been a really good year for us to pull together and um, learn to work as a team. We're going to be really good next year for the presidential year. That's key. Any other and again, you just heard from Laura Rain Rainwater, the election commissioner in Sedgwick County. Yeah. And you heard that push from six to or from four to six tonight, and then those initial results coming out at about 7.15. Smooth sailing so far. Says that she hopes to be wrapped up tonight by 8.30, 9 o'clock. Yeah, very optimistic. Yeah. And uh, I do know that there are 85 polling places across yeah. Sedgwick County. So again, people are headed out to those polls. There are. Craig Andrus is live at one near Central and Mays. He joins us live now. Craig, how's voting going out there in West Wichita? You know, there's been a steady trickle here all day. Poll workers tell me they've had no downtime at all. Those poll workers say things started to pick up. It was about 3 o'clock, so we just now crossed the 700 threshold of 700 people voting at this location. A couple of people I talked with out here that are voting told me that they'd advance voted, but they brought in their spouse to make sure that their significant other was voting as well. And most are telling me they're interested in the race for the mayor. Now, we will continue to monitor voting here, but right now I want to bring in KSN Zena Taher in Andover with the turnout. How are things going out there, Zena? Craig, a steady stream of voters here at Hope Community Church in Andover all day, too, since the polls opened at 6 a.m. People have been passing through these double doors and casting their ballots in the room inside. Poll workers tell me that it's been steady turnout all day since this voting location opened at 6 in the morning. People have been coming in and out pretty quick. Voters tell me there are a couple of uncontested races on the ballots here in Butler County and some other races they felt were important to vote in. Now we'll take you to new in KSN's Asia Simone Smith is there giving us a live look at voting Asia. Zena, poll workers here in Newton say everything has been running smoothly so far. They say they saw the biggest rush of traffic around 7 this morning when the polls first opened, but since then, people have just come and gone periodically throughout the day. So far, they've had just around 200 voters, and Harvey County projected about 400 voters to come out to the polls today, and there are still a few hours left. Here for you in Newton, Asia Simone Smith, Jeff Julie, I'll send it back to you guys. 
All right, Zena, thank you. And uh, of course, Asia and Craig Andrus out there. And we will continue to keep you updated as uh, those polls close and throughout the evening. And for people who opted to vote by advance ballot, there is still time to return those. They can be dropped at any polling place or ballot drop box. There are 14 in Sedgwick County, and we have those locations at KSN.com. You can also mail them. They need to be postmarked by 7 tonight and must arrive at your county's election office by Friday for it to count. And the biggest issue on the ballot in Wichita, and you heard about it in Craig's report, who will lead the city for the next four years. Incumbent Mayor Brandon Whipple, challenged by political newcomer Lily Wu. Also on the ballot, three city council races in District 2. Becky Tuttle faces former Goddard Mayor Marcy Gregory and Hatim Zinedine. Jeff Bluebaugh reached his term limit, so District 4 will have a new representative. It will be either Dalton Glasscock or Judy Pierce. And District 5's Brian Fry reached his term limit, made a run for mayor. Gary Bond, J.V. Johnston, and Ben Taylor are fighting for that District 5 spot. Three Wichita school board seats up for grabs tonight in District 3. Ernestine uh, Crable did not run for re-election. Ken Carpenter and Nock Bong are vying for it now. In District 4, incumbent Stan Reeser challenged by Jason Carmichael. And the at-large position, Cheryl Logan, who chose not to run this year. Either Melody McRae Miller or Brent Davis will take over for her in January. Now, before you go vote tonight, you can learn more about each candidate for Wichita School Board, City Council, and, of course, Mayor on our website at KSN.com. The bond project is also on the ballot in Mineola. The grade school was built in 1950s. District leaders say it is outdated and does not have enough room for all of its students. They say $17 million would fix that. The district is asking voters to approve $15 million in bonds, and the rest of the project would be paid for with money from wind farms. Voters in Fowler are deciding on a 1% sales tax. If approved, 90% would go to the school district so it can pay art and music teachers. They also help with reading and math. The city would use the rest of the money to reduce property taxes and pay off debt. Derby looking to double its special sales tax from a half a cent to a full cent. The city says this would raise an extra $5 million a year. That money would be spent on streets and parks and buying new police cars and fire equipment. KSN is here for you with election results throughout the night. They can be seen scrolling at the bottom of your screen and updated at KSN.com after the polls close at 7.